करे सु प्राण दे जो मन करे सु प्राण ले वही तो एक सर्वशक्तिमान है मन करे सु प्राण दे जो मन करे सु प्राण ले वही तो एक सर्वशक्तिमान है कृष्ण की पुकार है ये भागवत का सार है कि युद्ध ही तो वीर का प्रमाण है कौरवों की भीड़ हो या पांडवों का नीर हो जो लड़ सका है वो ही तो महान है जीत की हवस नहीं किसी पे कोई वश नहीं क्या जिंदगी है ठोकरों पे मार दो मौत अंत है नहीं तो मौत से भी क्यों डरे कि जाके आसमान में दहाड़ दो आरंभ है प्रचंड बोले मस्तकों के झुंड आज जंग की घड़ी की तुम गुहार दो आन बान शान या के जान का हो दान आज एक धनुष के बाण पे उतार दो आरंभ है प्रचंड आरंभ है प्रचंड Yes, my friends, the Aramb, that is the beginning of Indian army, was prachand, means fantastic, fabulous, and mighty. It's a story of valor, right from the very beginning, and the only reason that India succumbed to the invaders from Middle East and later from Europe. was not because of our soldiers lacked valor but we had too many traitors to handle and we still have but then every country has and that's a different story welcome friends i am shikla chaudhary and welcome to my channel my channel is all about education knowledge and travel Today our spotlight is on the history of the present day of Indian army welcome Indian army is a major component of national power of India and has been involved in many wars specifically four wars and a most victorious with neighboring pakistan and one with china it was given the modern shape on 1st april 1895 as british indian army the british were so impressed by the discipline and bravery of indian army that they used them extensively during the world war 1 and 2 and send them to those difficult terrains where they dare not send their own boys in the world of the famous indian poet sarojini naidu priceless treasures torn from my breast that means from mother india's breast to the drum beats of the duty the sabers of doom gathered like pearls in their aligned graves silent the sleep by the persian waves until the independence of india the indian army was a british commanded force defined as the force recruited locally and permanently based in india together with its uh, expatriate british officers It played a special part during the Sepoy mutiny in 1857 when of course it was only a company army. The Indian army that you can see in the present form is the land based branch and the largest component of the Indian armed force. The president of India is the supreme commander of the Indian army and its professional head is the chief of army staff. who is a four star general two officers have been conferred with the rank of field marshal a five star rank which is a ceremonial position of great honor 
The Indian Army was formed in 1895 alongside the long established presidency armies of the East India Company which too were absorbed into it in 1903. The princely states had their own army which were merged into the national army of present form after independence. The units and regiments of Indian army have diverse histories and have participated in several battles and campaigns around the world earning many battle and theater honors before and after independence. apart from keeping our borders intact it has participated in numerous united nations peacekeeping missions today it's the largest standing army in the world with 12 lakhs 37117 active troops and 9 lakhs 60000 reserve troops embarking into constantly modernization programs of upgrading and acquiring new assets every day with women too joining the forces it's definitely one of the most human and one of the most modern armies in the world so my friends That was a brief history of one of the largest army of the world. I'm sure you are going to celebrate the Indian Army Day on 15th January with their motto Seva Paramo Dharm and their march song Kadam kadam badaye ja khushi ke geet gaaye ja kadam kadam badaye ja khushi ke geet gaaye ja ye zindagi hai kaam ki tu kaam pe lutaye ja jai hind jai hind ki sena